2022 Geyserville Zinfandel from Ridge Vineyards. Geyserville located north of Healdsburg. So a bit of a quilt work of vineyards, but the main takeaway is that this is on flat, low level, ancient Russian river uh, bed. So very well drained soils, very bright red fruit profile because of that. The composition of this wine is 67% Zinfandel with 20% Carignan. 10% Petit Syrah and 3% Mataro. When you look at that composition, it makes sense when we talk about that quilt work pattern of, of vineyards because the way this works is that we are picking all of these separate blocks individually based upon the makeup of those blocks. So for instance, we have a parcel in the front of the vineyard that is 100% Zinfandel, and then a little bit to the back, we have an ancient 120, 130 year old uh, parcel of mixed blacks. Uh, we have a parcel of Carignan. Uh, we have a parcel of Petit Syrah. So all of these are picked separately and fermented separately, and then created uh, as a blend later after the wine is dry. So it really is a, a fun wine uh, for a winemaker. It's a true winemaker's blend. Blend, uh, rather than some of our other field blends that we pick and co-ferment, this is uh, individually fermented and then blended, which makes it quite fun because as you taste the wine, you can kind of taste the layers of each of these varietals. And to me, I see the vineyard blocks, which makes it really fun. Vinification wise, uh, this wine is 100% crushed uh, with floating cap, um, native fermentation, both primary and malolactic, as with all of our wines. This is the 56th consecutive vintage of this wine that Ridge has produced. Since 1966, we've made this wine consecutively. That's pretty uh, remarkable to me. Uh, and and the, the thing that's even more remarkable about it is that you see throughout all of these uh, vintages um, how well they age, but also the consistency in style and character uh, with this percentage of Carignan and Zinfandel, you really get this, uh, this very constant um, fruit profile and style. It has pure fruit from the Zinfandel and the Carignan really lends this beautiful uh, bright acidity. And then of course the Petit Syrah gives some structure and then the Mataro adds a little bit of earthy uh, meatiness to the blend. So a really well rounded blend. On the nose I get uh, dark cherry, dark plum, really ripe bold uh, fruit flavors, but there's also these uh, baking spices that are hidden in there, which which really make the aromatics pop. Uh, and then overall, on the profile, on the uh, on the palate, it's really red fruit. So very red fruit driven profile on the on the uh, on the um, palate. And then of course that long acidity uh, just driving that finish for a long lengthy juicy finish. This wine has been known to age for decades and I don't see any problem with that with this particular vintage. It's got the whole package. It's got fruit, spice, toasted oak and beautiful acidity that will carry it through for uh, the next decade or two. Hope you enjoy.